And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rochester Community High School for today's non-conference matchup between the visitors, the Lady Panthers of Northwood High School, and your Rochester Zebras. At this time, we'd like to introduce the starting lineups for the Junior Varsity Contest, first for Northwood. At guard, a sophomore wearing number 10, Daisy Thomas. At a post position, a junior wearing 22, Sophie Grusel. At guard, a sophomore wearing number 24, Jenna Hausfelter. At guard, a freshman, number 32, Emily Miller. And at a post position, a freshman, 42, Tesla Graham. The Lady Panthers are coached by John Andrews. And now, let's meet the starting lineup for your Lady Zebras. At guard, a 5-foot, 6-inch sophomore, number 30, Lily Eaton. At guard, 5-foot, 2-inch freshman, number 2, Ray Clevenger. At guard, 5-foot, 6 inches, and a freshman, number 4, Dara Strusser. At a wing position, 5 foot 7 inch freshman, 22, Ella McCarter. And at a forward, 5 foot 9 inches and a freshman, number 24, Audrey Bowler. The Zebras are coached by Phil Fowles. All right, so Northwood going with Thomas, Grusser, Householder, Miller, and Branham. And for the Rochester Zebras, the same lineup we've had for the first three games, Clevenger, Strasser, McCarter, Bullinger, and Lily Eaton, your starters for the Zebras. Bollinger and Thomas going to be jumping here. And it's going to be out of bounds off of Northwood. We're underway here with the JV contest. Bullinger, oh, nice up and under move. Audrey Bullinger gets the Zebras on the board with two. Nice move there by the freshman Bullinger. That shot off the mark from Householder. The loose ball, McCarter saves it, but right into the hands of Northwood. Three-pointer, nothing for Thomas. It's going to be out of bounds off of the Panthers. It will be Zebra ball. McCarter, top of the key, three-pointer off the mark, rebound, Thomas. Three-pointer by Miller, no good. That's going to be a jump ball. Jump ball, position. Lady 
Northwood on the jump call, and it's going to be a foul on Eaton on the shot. That's going to send number 24, Jenna Householder, to the free throw line, shooting two for the Panthers. Zebra shooting foul number 30, Eaton, her first at the line, shooting two, Jenna Householder. First one for Householder, no good off the back iron. Second one must have just grazed the iron. Rebound to the Zebras. Clevenger brings it across the timeline. Eaton three-pointer top of the key, off the mark. Rebound to Thomas. Good defense by Eaton. Almost knocks it away, and that one is going to go out of bounds off of Miller. It'll be Zebra's ball. And that one's going to be stolen by Householder. And a traveling called on the Panthers. Gives the ball back over to the Zebras. Score still 2-0 here with 4.33 to go first quarter. And a three-second called on the Zebras. Good defense out top. Strasser picks it off. Brings it across, gets it out to Eaton. Eaton drives baseline. Good job there by Miller. Nice backdoor cut. Strasser off of the assist from McCarter. Looked like maybe a uh, double dribble there. That one's off the mark. It's going to be out. So Northwood will have it baseline left. So Brubaker and Harner check into the game for Northwood. There is a steal by Eaton. Carter thought about a three. And Bollinger is going to be tied up. Jump ball will stay. Zebras. Clevenger, step back three, in and out, rebound to the Panthers. And Bollinger is going to pick up the foul. That'll be her first, team's second. Northwood's still looking to get on the scoreboard here. Rochester leads 4-0, 318 to go in the quarter. And there is a three-pointer from Miller. Or Thomas, sorry. Clevenger drives in. Coming back the other way, Thomas. And she's going to be fouled. I think Eaton is going to get called on that one. And Thomas will go to the line shooting two for the Panthers. Eaton, her second 
Second on Eaton, third on the Zebras. Daisy Thomas with an opportunity to tie or put the Panthers ahead here. And she's good on the first. That ties us at four. And she makes them both. Panthers lead the first time here this afternoon, 5-4. All five points coming from Thomas. And they're going to call a travel. Good job there, Bollinger fighting for the ball. You heard how to shell check into the game for Rochester. She gave Eaton a break with her two fouls. Tried to get it into Clevenger. That's going to be a jump. It will be Northwood ball. Good defense by McCarter, knocks it out. You can see the Zebras tonight wearing the Indiana National Guard uniforms. Offensive glass on the weak side by Brubaker, and she puts it in for two. Seven zero run by the Panthers. Rochester had a four point lead now trailing by three. Shot off the mark, rebound, and that's going to be a travel called on Heflin. Haley Heflin checked into the game, freshman guard for Northwood. Yeah, Rally Castro, number 20, has checked in for Northwood. Clevenger, right wing, three-pointer, good. Riley Clevenger ties the game at seven. Yeah, travel. Zebras get the ball back just under a minute to go here in the first quarter. We are all tied up at seven. And Clevenger again, nice up and under by the freshman. She's got that move down pat. Bollinger has four, and just like that, back in front by two are the Zebras. Baseline drive off the side of the glass. Shot is long, and that's going to be an over-the-back foul called on number 30, Brubaker. Eaton will check back in with 8.4 seconds to go for Ella McCarter. Eaton shot off the mark. And that will do it at the end of the first quarter. The Zebras come back and lead by one or two. 
take a break and come back with second quarter action here from Rochester High School in just a moment here on RTC TV4. Out of shell, kick out to Eccles, three-pointer off the mark. And there's going to be a foul called on Northwood. Grace Harner going to be called for her first. It says one, but I think that's the second team foul on the Northwood. Yep, they just changed it. <laughs> Lamb off on the shot, but got an offensive rebound. Three pointer. How to shell top of the key. Good. Mia Hadashell puts in the three-pointer, and it's a five-point advantage for Rochester. Quickly inside, that bucket by number 32, Emily Miller. Clevenger pulls up for three. Zebra shooters heating up here in the second quarter. Back-to-back -back three pointers. How to shell and Clevenger. Clevenger has six on two made threes, and she gets the steal. Pushes it ahead to Eaton. Shot off the mark. Offensive glass. How to shell. No good, but a foul coming on Northwood. That'll send How to Shell to the line, shooting two. That foul is on Castro, her first, team's third. How to Shell off on the first. Substitutions, first for Northwood, reentering number 10, Daisy Thomas, and 42, Tessa Brandon. Branham and Thomas check back into the game for the Panthers. Strasser checked back in for the Zebras. How to shell off on both. Offensive glass, though, by Eccles. Thomas gets the glass for Northwood, coming back the other way, and that bucket is good for Grusser. Rebound. Offensive rebound for Sidney Lamb. Zebras lead by six. That was shot way off the mark. Strasser going after that loose ball. They're going to say it's out of bounds off of Dara. Householder back in for the Panthers. Bullinger checks back in for the Zebras. Checking in for the first time, number 14, Lily Watson. Second chance opportunity here for the Panthers. That shot by Thomas off the mark. <laughs> I, I, that was uh, two Panthers there fighting for the ball. They're going to call it a jump. Panthers retain possession on the jump. Strasser with good defense on Thomas. Loose ball. 
And that shot goes in for number 22, Grusser. And we got a three-second call. Grusser has four points here all in the second quarter for the Panthers. The lead is down to four for the Rochester Zebras. Eaton comes away with the steal. Had Strasser running. I don't think she was able to see her with the defender on her. And there's going to be a foul coming on the Panthers. Fourth team foul on Northwood here in the first half. Householder picks up her first. McCarter checks back into the game for the Zebras. Carter just inside the three-point line. Can't get it to go. Grusser with the rebound. Thomas with Eaton on her. Shot no good, but a foul coming on Lily Eaton. I think that's her third. Her third. It is her third, fourth team foul. She's got three of them. Still 3.16 to go here in the first half. And Thomas puts the first one in. Thomas is three for three from the free throw line. Cuts the lead to three. And misses that one. Eaton brings it across the timeline. And they're going to call a illegal screen. Lily Watson going to get called. It's Watson's first, the fifth team foul. And Clevenger is going to come in for Watson. Shot off the mark that time. Clevenger saw a lane and took advantage of it. Puts it in for two. Lead back up to five for the Zebras. Clevenger with eight here in the first half. Eaton with a steal, but the turnover. Zebras get the ball back. We're going to have a jump. Should be Zebras' ball. And returning for Northwood, number 30, Brooklyn Brubaker. Eaton, three-pointer, baseline no good. Rebound, Bullinger. And Bullinger going to get tied up. That will be Northwood ball. Offensive rebound, Northwood. Second chance opportunity. Householder shot is off the mark. Zebras come away with the rebound. Carter pushes it up to Strasser. Her shot off the mark. Strasser almost gets the steal. Well, just about an over and back. I don't know if she had established on the right side of that line, but no call. Heffen, Hefflin checks back in for the Panthers. Oh, 
And a foul coming. I, I was going to say, I don't know, Bullinger kind of thought they were calling it on her. The foul was called on Northwood. Number 30, Brubaker gets called for her second. Oh, no, it was her third. Eaton works on the right wing, kicks it up, free throw. Bullinger, and that's going to hit the stanchion, be out of bounds. Be Northwood's ball. Minute nine to go here in the first half. Zebras up 5, 19 14. Clevenger with the steal, kicks it up to Eaton. Back over to Clevenger, right wing three. Clevenger, good! Riley Clevenger, her third three of the first half. She has 11 first half points for the Zebras, and it's an eight point Rochester lead. Well, I got a chance to watch Riley a lot this summer playing on that team with uh, Joe McCarter, and she is a hardworking kid, and she has put a lot of time in the gym, and it's paying off for her here. She's a great three-point shooter, and it's nice to see those going down for her. McCarter, I think that one was tipped by Thomas. Thomas comes away with the loose ball. Coming back the other way, good defense by Audrey Bullinger. Knocks it out of bounds. It will be Northwood ball baseline left. Point four to go here in the first half. I think about uh, a catch and a shot is about all you got time for here with point four. And they're not going to get a shot off at the half. The Zebras lead 22-14 over Northwood. Opening up in the second half, it'll be Lady Zebra basketball. Zebras will have the ball here as we start the second half. There's a quick steal by Northwood and a layup. Thomas gets the Panthers on the board quickly here in the third quarter. And how to shell gonna get called for the walk. So the starting five for Rochester minus Eaton and plus how to shell. Eaton gonna have some uh, extended time tonight on varsity due to a couple injuries from the Rochester Zebras. And that one goes through the hands of Householder and turns it over to the Zebras. Dara Strasser going to take it hard to the basket, get fouled. She's going to go to the line, shooting two. They're going to call Tessa Branham on the foul, her first. Team's first here in the second half. And the first one a little short there for Dara. Second one off the mark. How to shell fights for the rebound. Jump ball will go to Northwood. Zebra's 0 for 4 from the free throw line here this afternoon.
Three-pointer off the mark, and there's going to be a foul. I think they're going to get Thomas on that one. First foul on Thomas. Second team foul of the half for Northwood. And a double dribble. Bollinger getting to work there, but she picked up her dribble and then decided that uh, she needed another one, and unfortunately can't do that. And uh, that one's going to go out of bounds. Householder loses it. And a travel called on the Zebras here. So some turnovers plaguing both teams early in the third quarter. Turnaround shot no good for Grusser. Another offensive opportunity though. Brubaker able to put it in over McCarter. Rochester will keep the ball here, but four straight points by Northwood to start the third quarter has cut the Zebra lead in half. Zebra's yet to score here in the third quarter. Nice play there, Strasser. McCarter just inside three-point line. That shot was tipped. And the shot will count. Bullinger able to put it in and one. And she completes the three-point play. Bullinger now with seven. And the Zebra lead is back up to seven. That one's tipped out. Last touch by McCarter. Good defense by Ella. going to foul Branham. Branham going to the line to shoot two for Northwood. That's the first foul on McCarter. First team foul on the Zebras here in the second half. First is good for Branham. It's her first point of the afternoon. Second one off of the front iron. Bollinger able to get the rebound. Hands it off to Howdeshell. Howdeshell pushes it up across to McCarter. Howdeshell top of the key. Three-pointer long. Rebound fought for. And Thomas is going to come away with it for the Panthers. A shot way off the mark that time for Harner. Quickly ahead, Bullinger not able to put it in. She gets her own rebound, kicks it out. How to shell left wing three pointer off the mark. And a jump ball should stay Northwood. Yes, 
Mm-hmm. Branham got away with a walk. Carter. Oh, she can't hold on to it. Another chance here for the Panthers. And Carter gets the rebound that time. Had a streaking Strasser. Oh, she sees her. Nice shot fake. Dara Strasser puts it in. Nice look up there from McCarter to Strasser and a nice shot fake by Dara Strasser. Strasser with four. The lead back up to eight. McCarter rebound. Coach Bowers wants a timeout here. Let's take another look at that last play by McCarter up to Strasser. So timeout on the floor. We'll take one with them as well. Be back here with more from Rochester High School in just a moment. All right, the Zebras call a timeout here with 2.40 to go in the third. Northwood had cut that eight-point halftime lead down to four, but the Zebras have got that lead back up to eight again here. The Rochester ball coming out of the timeout. Bollinger shot, no good. Strasser offensive glass. Loses it, gets it back, loses it. Northwood, oh boy, that might have been a travel call. Shot off the mark, offensive glass. Another chance here for Northwood. Three-pointer in and out. Bollinger with some really good defense. Strasser comes in, tips it out of bounds. Bollinger did a nice job on Branham. Heflin checks back in. Lily Watson comes in for how to shell for the Zebras. Heflin going to get fouled, and she will go to the line to shoot two for the Northwood Panthers. That's going to be the second on McCarter. Second team foul here in the second half by Rochester. Heflin scoreless here in the ballgame. Misses on the first. Sydney Lamb checks in for Bullinger. Heflin, one out of two from the free throw line. Cuts the Zebra lead down to seven. That one tipped away and stolen that time by Householder. It's going to be tipped out. Will be Northwood ball. Heflin around McCarter, drive to the basket. She's going to get fouled. Foul on Lily Watson, her second. Haley Heflin back to the free throw line, off on the first. One for three from the line here in the third quarter for Heflin. Minute seven to go. Seven 
And the second one in and out. Strasser brings it across the timeline for the Zebras. Kicks it over McCarter on the baseline. Carter 10-footer off the mark. Rebound to Branham. Carter puts some pressure on her. Out to Heflin. That one stole by Lamb. Approaching 30 seconds to go here in the third. Heflin gets in front of that pass. McCarter... Going to get called on the foul. Heflin going back to the free throw line. One for four from the line here in the last, well, she's shot free throws here the last three possessions now. Third team foul, or third foul on McCarter, third team foul as well on the Zebras. And no good on that free throw. And checking in for the Lady Zebras, number 13, Keaton Dorn. Keaton Dorn comes in for the Zebras. And Heflin good on the second. Heflin almost poked it away from McCarter. A lot of contact. McCarter. And a five-second call. Zebras turn it over. 5.5 to go here in the quarter. Northwood with an opportunity to cut into that six-point Zebra lead. And that shot no good. After three here in the JV contest, the Zebras lead 27-21. We'll take a break. Come back with fourth quarter action from Rochester High School in just Back moment. here after three in the JV contest, it's a six-point Zebra lead. They led by eight at the half. Northwood cut that to four. Rochester got it back up to eight. And we settled in at six at the end of three. Zebras have the ball here to start the fourth. And immediately turn the ball over, give it back to the Panthers, and it's going to be a foul called on the Zebras. Lady Zebra, common foul, 32 Eccles for first. Team's fifth. Fifth team foul on the Zebras, the first on Eccles. And three by Thomas. Bollinger pass across the lane into McCarter. She's going to get fouled. Northwood shooting foul, number 10, Thomas, her second, team sport. And McCarter puts in the first. Second one off the mark. Loose ball. Going to be a jump and it will be Northwood ball. Yeah. 
Lead is four for the Zebras. Thomas, nice little floater in the paint. Leads down to two for the Zebras. And a steal by Thomas and a layup, and we are all tied, 28 all. Two straight buckets by Thomas. She has seven here in the fourth quarter, and it is 28 all. Got a full timeout. We'll take one with them and be back here with more from Rochester High School. And some full court pressure here being applied by Northwood out of the Zebra timeout. They can smell the blood in the water here. Let's see if the Zebras can handle this pressure by the Panthers. Turnover. Bullinger, though, gets it right back, but she's going to get called for a travel. So it will be Panther ball here out of bounds. So a pair of turnovers, actually three turnovers there, and now it's Northwood ball with a chance to take the lead. Zebras have led after every quarter here, but it's in danger. Loose ball, Bullinger can't get it. Boy, a lot of contact from Heflin. Strasser on Thomas. Thomas has got all seven of the Northwood points here in the quarter. Thirty-second timeout here by the Panthers. The Northwood ball. When we get back here, we are all tied, twenty-eight all. JV matchup, five thirty-three to go here in the fourth quarter. Same five in for the Zebras that started the second half. Clevenger. Oh, they're going to say Northwood was on the line. The Zebras get the ball back here. Northwood going to pick them up full court. How to shell looking for somebody. Finds Bullinger at midcourt. Bullinger brings it across. Tries to kick it back out to Hattishell. That's going to be stolen by Northwood. Heflin on the line gives it back over to the Zebras. That one's going to be a turnover for Rochester. Gives the ball back over to the Panthers. 5.23 to go here in the game. And Thomas steps on the line, gives the ball back over to the Zebras. <laughs> Bollinger strong to the basket. She's going to be fouled by Grusser. First on Grusser, sixth, uh, fifth team foul on Northwood. Bollinger going to the free throw line. One for one from the free throw line here this afternoon for the freshman Bollinger. Off the mark on that one. Oh 
Second one is good. Zebras back in front, 29-28. Nice move, and they're going to call a travel that time on Householder. Northwood picks up full court. McCarter inbounds. Gets it in to Clevenger. Clevenger brings it across. Clevenger, Bullinger, triple teamed, three-pointer. McCarter just long. And the left-hand layup is good by Grusser. shooting two here for the Panthers. Second, McCarter gets the rebound. Northwood leads one with 4.30 to go here in the ball game. Strasser, oh, nice pass into How to Shell for two. First one good for Thomas, ties us at 31. Second is off the mark, another chance though for Northwood on the offensive rebound that time by Grusser. Thomas sets it up. Nice defense, Dara Strasser picks it off. Strasser and McCarter just inside the three-point line, in and out for Ella McCarter. Strasser comes up, no call. No, double dribble. Panthers give it back. Northwood sets up in the full court press. Out of shell checks it back up. McCarter three pointer. Just long offensive glass. Strasser, Bullinger. And Coach Bowers calls a timeout, saves the possession. Zebras will have the ball, 3.07 to go, tied at 31 here in the fourth when we come out of this Rochester timeout. Is 
So the Zebras will inbounds here under their bucket. 3.07 to go, all tied 31-31. Northwood in the bonus. So they'll be shooting one and one on a Rochester common foul. Possession arrow is to the Panthers as well. Bullinger might have got away with a double there. Out of shell, and she's going to go to the line shooting two. Nice drive there by the freshman Mia Howdeshell. Opportunity to put the Zebras back in front. 2.41 to go here in the game. Her first, team six, Mia Howdeshell shooting two. Mia 0 for 2 from the free throw line. Let's see if she can make that 2 for 4 here with this trip. And that one rims out. Castro back into the game for Northwood. Second free throw from Howdeshell. Up off the mark. And a turnover forced by the Zebras. Another opportunity here for Rochester. Strasser on the baseline, gets it in Bollinger. Bollinger is going to be tipped out of bounds. Stay Rochester ball. How to shell to inbounds. Bollinger. Thomas takes it away. And she's going to get called for the travel. Pair of turnovers gives the ball back here to the Zebras. 2.22 to go in regulation. How to shell. Three. Good. Mia, how to shell. Puts the Zebras back in front by three with two minutes to go. And there's a turnover for Northwood. And Northwood will take a timeout. Northwood calls a 60 second timeout. Full timeout called by the Panthers. We'll take a break with them as well. Be back here with more. Zebras lead 34 31, 203 to go in regulation here at Rochester High School JV contest. Be back in a moment on RTC TV4. The Zebras have the ball coming out of the timeout. And they're going to say Strasser was on the sideline, so Zebras give the ball back over to the Panthers. Just under two minutes to go here in regulation. Oh, how does Shell comes in and ties it up? Possession arrow to the Zebras. Great work there by Mia Howdeshell getting the tie up. Gets it in the Clevenger. Bullinger kicks it out. Howdeshell. Beaver's going to make the Northwood Panthers here do something. They're content with a three-point lead. Force the Panthers into fouling them. How to shell a little wheel move. Kicks it back out. Strasser.
Bollinger, she's got two on her, kicks it back out to Clevenger. Clevenger smartly just resets. Gets it over to Hattishell, under a minute to go. Northwood's going to have to do something here. They're going to have to foul or something. They have six team fouls, so they could put Rochester in the one in the bonus. And an intentional foul called on Northwood. That's going to be two shots and the ball. Intentional foul called against Northwood's 24 crossover first second. Team Jake. So McCarter with 45.5 seconds to go will be shooting the free throws. Zebras will get the ball. And McCarter puts it in. Four point lead. One for two for McCarter. And Rochester will have the ball up by four with 45.5 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Gets it in, and it's going to be tipped out of bounds off of Strasser. Opportunity here for Northwood to cut it in this four-point lead. Both teams in the bonus. Good pressure by the Zebras. And Northwood's going to use a timeout. Northwood calls a 30-second timeout. That timeout is a 30 by the Panthers, 37 seconds to go here in the game. Seven three run here in the fourth quarter by the Zebras after we were tied at 28. Four straight points again after we were tied at 31. And the Zebras lead 35-31 with 37 seconds to go. Out of the timeout by Northwood. Thomas has Strasser guarding her. Strasser, loose ball, and it will be Northwood on the jump. Good defense there by Dara Strasser. Northwood calls a 60-second timeout. And Northwood's going to take another timeout. This one is a 60, so we'll take a break with them and be back here with more from Rochester High School in just a moment on RTC TV4. Looking to close it out with 24.2 to go out of the Northwood timeout. They're going to have it baseline right under their bucket on the inbounds play. Householder three, no good. Offensive glass. And Bullinger comes up with it. Clevenger is going to make them fouler. And they will They'll send Riley Clevenger to the line, shooting one in the bonus for the Zebras. Householder picks up the foul, her third. Just the eighth team foul, so one and the bonus for Clevenger. Chance to add here to a four-point lead. First free throw for Clevenger from the for the afternoon, and that one is good. That's her first point of the second half. She's got 12 on the game. Five point lead. Two for two for the freshman Clevenger, and it's a six point lead 
for the Zebras. That shot is good, but a little bit too little too late. And that's going to do it. The final score, Rochester wins it. 37-33 here in the JV contest. That was a big, big win here for Coach Bowers and the JV squad. They continue their hot streak. They go to 4-0 and on the season. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for our military appreciation day and representatives from the Indiana National Guard. Thank you, gentlemen and ladies. And welcome once again to Rochester High School for this non-conference matchup between the Lady Panthers of Northwood and your Rochester Lady Zebras. At this time, we'd like to meet the starters first for Northwood. At a guard and a sophomore, we're at number 15, Jocelyn Edwards. At guard and a sophomore, number 22, Hannah Chuck. At a forward, a junior, number 25, Aliyah Bomber. At guard, sophomore, number 33, Harris Bennett. And at forward, a freshman, number 32, and number 42, Claire Payne. The Lady Panthers are coached by Mark Heater. And now, let's meet the starters for your Lazy Boys. At guard, by Aiden, a senior, number one, Cameron Burkett. At a win, 5 5 and a junior. Number three, Riley Holloway. 
At guard, 5'5", five, five, junior, wearing number 10, Kelly Watson. At a win, 5'6", center junior, number 12, Sydney Hall. And at four, 5'10", senior, number 5, Lexi Toss. The Zebras are coached by Mr. Brian Jennings, assisted by Ray Davis. And as we get ready for our opening tip, I want to remind you of the Minute to Win It contest. If your Lady Zebra score within the first 60 seconds... I have that the Claire Payne as a freshman is better than her sister as a freshman. Which is scary. Yeah, because right? she grew and, and, yes. and became a very talented player. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, she grows and goes. Randy Wynn, Tony Stasiak, we're ready to get things started here this afternoon. Again, the Zebras in their home whites, uh, this time with camouflage, thanks to the National Guard. And Go Guard on the back. and the You North. know, these could be cool uniform. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Go Guard, I mean, but I mean, if you look Going at the forward, scheme, yeah. it looks, it could fit in with uh, our school scheme a little bit too. It'd be kind of cool. Northwood in their road black. Lexi Thomas to jump, and she controls the tip, and it's controlled by Watson. Watson with the basketball. She goes to her right side to Burkett. Burkett on the right wing. Burkett trying to get down low to Thomas. Can't do so. They'll swing it the other way. Sid Hall's now with it to Thomas at the elbow. Thomas penetrates, kicks it back out to Burkett. Burkett, three ball on the way. Off the mark, no good. It's going to be tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Zebras. It'll stay with the, it'll go with Northwood. And the Zebras looking to put a little pressure on here to start the contest. Northwood searching for some answers, too. They've had a couple key players go out with knee injuries, as have the Zebras. So I think you have both teams trying to figure some things out here today. Full court press quickly ahead is to Edwards. Edwards has it in the backcourt. Troubled. Now she gets it off to Chump. Chump with it. Finally gets it across the timeline. Now to Edwards in the near side. Down in the corner to Bennett. Bennett tries to go down low. Ball's tipped, stolen by Hawes. Sid Hawes with the basketball. 7.20 to go here in the opening quarter. No score. Down low to Thomas. At the block, up and under, is partially blocked by Payne and comes away with it and stolen by the Zebras. Burkett with the basketball in the backcourt. Now crosses the timeline to Watson. She'll fire a three ball on the way. In and out, no good. Rebound comes down to Edwards. One minute gone here in the opening quarter. Chump with it at the volleyball line for Northwood. 0-0 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Edwards with the basketball. Trying to find somebody to get open. And Northwood not moving well. And the tip is almost stolen by the Zebras. Picked back up by Chump. Chump with it. Cross-court pass now down to Bennett. Bennett's 12-foot jumper good. 2-0 Northwood. Northwood will press. Yeah, I think Northwood press pin. So if they press pin, they're pressing us. <laughs> Hawes with the basketball. Hawes inbounds, gets it to Burkett. Back to Hawes, back to Burkett. Quickly ahead and picked up by Watson. Watson on the far sideline in front of the student body. Watson just inside the three-point line. Bounces in and out, no good. Rebound comes away to Chump. Chump will push for Northwood. Here comes the Panthers to Bennett. Bennett in the corner. Kicks it back out and the pass is tipped and picked back up this time by Chump. Chump at top of the key. She picks up her dribble and here comes Holloway all over. She gets it off to the left side to Edwards. Edwards gets it out to Bonner. Back over to Chump. Goes down low to Bonner and stolen by Lexi Thomas. Thomas to Hawes. Sid across the timeline. 5.45 to go here in the opening quarter. 2-0 Northwood. Watson with it on the right wing. Now to Holloway. Holloway will fire the three ball. Off the mark, no good. Thomas with the rebound and then loses it. But goes and gets it. Picks it back up out to Burkett. To Holloway. Holloway goes to the hole. Has it stripped but uh, can't hang on to it. Can Northwood. And it'll be Zebra basketball baseline left. Like the effort on the boards there. Also like the fact that when the ball was kicked out off the offensive rebound, they swung it around and Holloway attacked the weak side. Get that defense yeah. in a scramble mode. You'll have more driving lanes. Sid Hall's to inbound. Does so to Lexi Thomas up off the glass. We're tied at two. 5.25 to go here in the opening quarter. 2-2 on the scoreboard for the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Quickly ahead to, Bo to Bennett. Bennett then gets fouled, and I think Burkett's going to pick up a – nope. They're going to give it to Holloway. Yeah, it could have been on either one. If you're going to trap, you can't let the dribbler split the trap. They allowed that to happen. Both kind of reached, and the foul went to Holloway. 
5.17 to go here in the opening quarter. We're tied at two. Northwood with the basketball. Left side of Edwards. Edwards guarded by Holloway and, and Burkett. She splits that. Stolen this time by Watson. Watson with the basketball. Watson to Holloway. Throws it out of bounds. Zebras are creating turnovers, but they're not getting the conversions off that, right? The, the uh, defense is aggressive. They're getting the Lady Panthers to turn it over, uh, but they're also turning it over themselves. And in the backcourt, Bennett travels. Is nice defense by Burkett. Come up kind of at the last minute and caught Bennett off guard. Yeah, fifth turnover <laughs> for the Lady Panthers, and we've played three minutes. So Just under five to go here in the first quarter. 2-2 on the Rochester glass scoreboard. Pause to inbound. Does to Watson in the corner. Right wing now. Tahaz in the corner. Top the key to Holloway. Down low to Thomas. It goes through her hands. Picked up by Bonner. Bonner quickly out to Edwards. Quickly up the floor is the Panthers. Edwards splits a defender. Throws up a shot partially blocked by the Zebras. Picked up by Payne. And Payne will step out of bounds. It'll be a turnover against Northwood Zebra basketball. Uh, well, turnovers. Turnovers. <laughs> Hawes to inbound. Hawes will get it into Watson. Back to Hawes. Hawes in the backcourts. Kind of a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one for Northwood. And the Zebras break it this time. Thomas to the hole. Kicks it back out to Watson. Top of the key. Three ball. In and out. No good. Thomas with the rebound. Kicks it back to Watson on the left wing. Watson will penetrate. Throw up a running jumper. Up and good. 4-2 Zebras with 4.15 to go here in the first quarter. Edwards quickly ahead to Bonner. Bonner will go to the hole. Wrap around pass down low to Bennett. Excuse me, down low to Payne. And we're tied at four. Nice post passing by Northwood there. Looked like the Lady Zebras had him stopped and she was able to throw a bounce pass for a layup. Watson to Thomas down low. Up and good. Six to four. Track meet all of a sudden. Right. Callie Watson making things happen. She took a drive, which was good to see. Don't want her just to be a three-point shooter. And then she dropped that one off for a layup. And Edwards tries to go over the top to Payne, and it goes out of bounds. Turnover, Zebra, or turnover Northwood, Zebra basketball. Burkett out. Kennedy Jackson checks in for the first time this afternoon. And also coming in for Northwood will be Reed. Excuse me, Red. Red into the ballgame. Zebra's up 6-4, to 3.43 to go. Jackson inbounds to Watson, back to Jackson, now to Holloway. Quickly ahead to Thomas. Thomas to Jackson. Kicks it out to Sid Hawes. Her three ball left wing. Good. Go. Against the press, four. if you beat it up the side, the middle's open and then reverse should be all day long. Wide open jumpers or layups. Zebra's in the press as well. Northwood have, giving Great them a call. Nice effort. job by Jackson. Tipping it out of bounds. It'll stay with Northwood right in front of the scoring bench. But. Good read by Jackson is able to get in there and tip it away. Yeah, the pressure defense has sparked the Lady Zebras here on this afternoon start. You said you're trying to find some answers. Maybe a little bit of a pressure game is part of the answers. Now at the top of the key is Chump with it. Chump comes to the near side to Edwards. Edwards travels. Yep. Yeah. And coming back, coming in for the first time this afternoon for Northwood will be number 12, Kaylee Martin. Martin will come in, and Chump will sit down. Three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Zebra's up 9-4. to four. Jackson with it, top of the key. Jackson now to Hawes. Hawes around the screen, gives it for Holloway on the right wing. Holloway to Watts, or excuse me, that's Hawes in the corner. Hawes trying to dribble baseline, throws Ooh. it out of bounds. Turnover Zebra's. Right idea. She just, I don't think Holloway is where she thought she was, and she right. just threw it out of bounds. Yeah, you like to see Sid jump stop on that, and then Holloway's got to trail her a little bit more to give her a better passing. She kind of hung out too much at the top. If she trails down more towards the baseline, she'll be wide open. Bennett with the basketball. Bennett now down low to Payne. Payne up off the glass. Good. Nine to six. Payne's got good touch for a freshman, right? She knows her, her good footwork around the basket, good touch. Hawes, round the screen, throws up a jumper, good. Sid Hawes with the shooter touch, and it bounces in, and it's 11-6. to six. I like the Lady Zebras attack in the basket. They, they settled for too many jumpers early, but they're back to that 15-foot and in game. I like it. Bennett down low to Payne. Payne can't handle the pass, saves it out of bounds, right in the hands of Jackson. Look up. Jackson. 
Trying to throw no, it ahead. No, no, no. Kennedy just out of control. Rebound yep. comes to Thomas, and Thomas will get the rebound and go back up, and she's going to be fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, Jackson's got to pass that ahead to Lexi Thomas, and then, you know, I know she's got one speed, but sometimes you got to throttle it down or give the ball up for the good of a teammate. Thomas at the line shooting two, her first opportunity to here this afternoon. It was lead. 11-6 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard with 2.01 to go here in the first quarter. And Thomas misses the first one. Burkett back in. Also back in for Northwood will be Bonner. And checking in will be Wingard. Wingard. Looks like Millie Scorzone's going to check in for Lexi Thomas if she makes this second free throw. Lexi has the second one. Zebras again up 11-6. Randy Wynn, Tony Stagziak, glad you could join us here this afternoon. Free throw on the way by Thomas is good. Score zone will come in for Lexi Thomas. 12-6. Zebra's up. And here's the full court press again. It's Burkett and Holloway. Sid Hall's kind of in the middle. And nice Holloway effort. with the tip. And almost the right. steal. But right in, back into the hands of Northwood. And then the winger's up and layup good. Yeah, Holloway's got to catch that ball. She yeah. tried to steal it into a dribble. you got to catch that ball and then dribble, not catch it into a dribble. 12-8, Zebra's with it. Jackson, free throw line jumper on the way. Good. Going to give you that. you got to take it. And she did and scores two more points. 14-8. Quickly over the top. Now to Bonner. Bonner has the basketball. She goes to Edwards. Edwards in the right corner. Kicks it back over to... Northwood, and that's it's going to be tipped. It's stolen by Burkett, but a jump ball coming. It'll stay with Northwood. Yep, Zebras are pressuring and then back into that 2-3 zone they've played uh, here recently, and um, still the key thing there is to continue to stay active. You can still hunt turnovers, get deflections, uh, but you got to help and scramble. You can't get caught just watching the basketball. Inbounds comes into the corner, now picked up by Martin. Martin comes around the near side, gives it to Bennett. Three ball on the way, way off the mark. Rebound to Sid Haas. Haas ahead to Burkett. Burkett crosses the timeline. Burkett on the left side. Picks up her dribble. Now trying to get it down low to his score zone. And Haas does. Kicks it back out to Holloway. Down to Jackson at the block. Up and good. Same Kennedy thing Jackson. there. It's that ball reversal, yep. right? Don't A lot of passes on one side of the floor. Get it to the other side. The post game usually opens up. Sid Haas is going to pick up her first foul as she... Tries to tip the ball out of bounds and runs into Northwood. And good decision by Millie Scorzone. It wasn't a great post feed to her. Instead of trying to force something up, she kicked it out immediately. They reversed the ball, and Jackson was waiting and posting up as the ball got reversed and had a great post feed. Loved the bounce pass. It's amazing how that sets up an easy score. Northwood with the basketball. Chump now. Top of the key. Gives it off to... Uh, Martin. Martin has it tipped and the ball's loose on the ground and Scorzone's going to get a foul as she uh, tried to go for the ball and grabbed the player's arms. Yep, good hustle. Went to grab the ball and grabbed an arm instead. But Zebra's only third team foul. Both teams in good shape. We've only had four fouls called. Knock on wood. Hope they didn't <laughs> jinx that one. Inbounds comes into Red. Red has it at the block. Red then has it stripped by Scorzone. Millie with the basketball. Millie now gives off to Watson. Zebras push. Watson on the right wing. Now she'll back it out and set the offense up. Okay, Watson. we're going to run that double stack delay game. We talked about another point of emphasis this year. Be better at end of quarters. 15 seconds. Zebras have it. Hawes gives it off to Watson. Now with 10. Watson in the right wing. Picks up her dribble. Down low to Jackson with six. Jackson turn around, throws up a shot. No good. Ball's loose. Picked up by Northwood. Burkett steals it. Burkett throws it at the buzzer. No good. And that's the end of the first quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebras have doubled up Northwood 16-8 to here at the end of the first. Back with more after this. You're listening to Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 16-8. to Zebras lead. And pretty decent court first quarter. There was some uh, helter-skelter for a little bit, but Zebras were able to reel it in. Yeah, we talked... A lot of years, or a lot of times through the years, about winning every quarter it helps. Uh, you get the double figures, you score 16, and you give up, keep them under double digits. That keeps you right in line, Coach Jennings said earlier in the year. Try to keep it to 37 points a game allowed on defense. Well, eight point, eight times four by my math is 32, so you're right <laughs> in that range of what you want to do defensively, but you put up 16 points yourself. So uh, I think the pressure has been good. 
Um, they've diversified the offense a little bit. Early in the game, they were launching way too many threes. They've got back to post feeds and drive, and it's opened up the offense a little bit. Zebras had the basketball to start the quarter. Burkett has it top the key. Burkett goes to Holloway. Holloway dribbles in, goes down low to Thomas. Thomas, fadeaway jumper, no good. Scores on, picks up the rebound, goes up. She's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Good offensive rebounds, keeping the post inside, staying in the play, getting some extra opportunities. And we've said for many years, offensive rebounds usually lead to fouls. And here we go. Another score zone, bat the line, shooting two. First opportunity here today. The hard, first one's hard off the back of the iron, no good. 7.47 to go here in the second quarter. It was up 16 to 8. Randy Wynn, Tony Stasiak. Saturday afternoon in basketball. Rebound is to Thomas off the Smith. Thomas throws up a hook shot. No good. Rebound comes away to Northwood. Quickly ahead to Martin. Excuse me, that's Winger. Winger kicks it out to Edwards. Edwards three-pointer on the way. No good. Last touch by Northwood. Zebra basketball. Coming out of a quarter break like that, you have momentum. You want to keep momentum. You want to play good offense and not let Northwood make a run. It feels like you've got momentum even though you're only up eight. You want to continue to have that run good offense, get the ball inside. Burkett with the basketball, now right side to Watson. Watson gets a screen by Thomas. Swings it left side to Holloway. Here, three ball on the way off the back of the iron. No good. Long rebound out to Burkett. Burkett to Watson. Watson penetrates, has her shot, excuse me, shot block, picked it back up. Ball's loose on the floor. Scores zone, throws it up as she falls down and tries to uh, draw the foul. But the rebound comes away to Northwood. Northwood quickly ahead to Edwards. Edwards will back it back out and slow it down for the Panthers. 6.56 to go here in the first half. Lady Zebras have a bunch of offensive rebounds that they just can't yeah. convert on half of them. Time right. out, Northwood, and it appears to... They're creating turnovers. They're attacking the basket. They're getting offensive footbacks, but I think... Post players are now in a little bit too much of a hurry, right? right. They're uh, trying to, when you come down with it, keep the ball high, but get your feet underneath you. You don't have to be in such a hurry. And, uh, you know, you want to take good shots, good efforts. If you don't have it, kick it out. I think their aggressiveness is great, but you got to have smart aggressiveness. If you're not, your feet aren't gathered, you don't think you've got it, you know, you don't want to throw something up falling down on your back kind of thing either. Just great effort, but let's, you know, continue to make those, good decisions and kick the ball out when you don't have it. But I like the effort. I like the intensity today. Northwood will have it right in front of the Zebra bench. And they try to go deep in the inbound pass, and it's last touch by Millie score zone. It'll stay with Northwood. And those are good plays, too, as a defense. You want deflections, right? Even if you don't get a steal, make the offense have to re-inbound the ball. Let's them keep doing that. Ball's tipped again, and it's going to be Northwood on the sideline. Turnover, Northwood. And you can tell, I think, I think a big factor is making that road trip to West Noble last <laughs> night shorthanded as they're battling injuries and having to turn around and get on a bus again today. Uh, Zebras have the home court advantage, and they also have the rest advantage today. Score zone down low with a nice pass. Shot off the mark, no good. Lexi Thomas cleans it up, puts it back. Two more for Lexi, 18-8, 10-point Zebra lead. We mentioned the other night, Lexi's just been in a funk the last few games. She's got seven points, a lot of energy, and that's what you want from your senior leader. Right? If the offense and defense is in trouble, let your yep. best player kind of be the best player. Tipped out of bounds by Watson. Talked to Lexi a little bit before the game and then put a little challenge to her. We'll see if she, how she handles it. Told her I wanted to see 20 today. Well, <laughs> you know, you can make the argument that in these games so far, the Lady Zebras have never had the best player on the floor. True. It's always been from the other team. This would be a great game, and so far I think Lexi Thomas has been the best player on the floor. That's what you need. Especially if your team's in a slump. Your captain needs to say, hey, right. follow me and let's go. Northwood with the basketball. Chump goes down to Payne. Payne kicks it back out. Stolen by Burkett. Burkett on the run. Burkett going to the hole. Throws up a shot. She's going to be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Another great senior play. Right. And that's a big foul because that's freshman Payne, their best interior player. Even though she's the only freshman, she's really good. That's her second foul. So uh, Cammy's going to go to the free throw line. She's got a chance to score. And... You're putting the other team's best post player in foul trouble. Burkett will have to. Zebra's not real good from the free throw line here this afternoon. We'll see if she can change that. She misses the first one. Coming in will be red, and sitting down will be Payne. Yeah, Lady Zebra's one for five 
from the free throw line so far. And uh, that's the second piece of it. You like the aggressiveness and going the basket, drawing fouls, but you got to convert when you get there. You're you're leaving the game still within reach for Northwood. Second we, uh, free throws missed. Rebound put back up by Lexi Thomas, and her shoe comes off. She's got nine. Is she going to play without a shoe? <laughs> so the play is continuing, but now we got a foul, so we'll have a stop in action, and Lexi will come out, and Jackson will come in for her. Yeah. She'll be able to put her shoe back on. Perkett's first. And also coming in will be Sid Hawes. She'll replace Burkett. 20 to 8. Zebras with the lead here in the first half. Six minutes to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard here in the second quarter. Edwards, she'll fire a deep three ball off the mark. No good. Sid Hawes with the rebound. Quickly ahead to Holloway. Holloway on the right wing. Down low in the corner to Sid Hawes. She'll fire a three ball short. Rebound comes away to Red. Red has it. Red, she'll go coast to coast. Red, left hand layup too hard. And the rebound huh. comes way out and picked up now by Edwards on the backcourt. Out to Chump. Chump with the basketball back to Edwards at the volleyball line. Five and a half to go here in the first half. Bennett in the corner. Now to Red. Red has it. Has her dribble. She'll try to go baseline. And out of bounds. Steps on the baseline. Lexi's got her shoe back on, and <laughs> she'll come in and give Millie Scorzone a break. Yeah, you got to ride the hot hand. Uh, she's playing as well as she is. you got to get that shoe on, young lady. Get right back <laughs> in the game. She was willing to play without it. She threw it over to Coach Davis. She was going to play in socks. You're on a heater. You keep that thing rolling. You keep rolling the dice. You don't You don't sit it out. Watson with it. Down low to Lexi Thomas. Thomas up off the glass. Two more. And it's 22 to 8. She's in double figures with 11. Quickly ahead is Northwood. Edwards with the basketball. Down low to Red. Red, free throw line jumper, good. 22 to 10. 4.50 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Watson has the basketball. Watson around the Jackson screen. Gives it off to Halls in the left wing. Down low to Thomas. Thomas kicks it back out to Holloway. To Jackson on the right wing. Jackson will dribble her down to the block. Throws up a shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, no good. But a free throw and a foul coming. Jackson and Thomas both right there, and Jackson gets the rebound, and she's fouled as she goes up for the second attempt. Kennedy Jackson back to the line. That one's in for one. Yeah. Here comes. Free throws continue to be improvement area for Kennedy Jackson. Lily Eaton coming into the contest. Sitting down will be Riley Holloway. Eaton getting uh, her second look at some varsity action. She got some on a Wednesday night. Jackson makes two for two. 24-10. Press again by the Zebras. Bennett with it. She goes cross court to Edwards. Edwards down low to Red. Red at the block. Throws up a shot against Jackson. Good. Red's a nice looking post player. Yeah. She's coming off the bench, but you know she seems athletic. She's strong. She's made some good moves. Freshman. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know they're really high yeah. on their freshman class. And Watson with it. From the screen by Jackson. She trips. Ball's loose. Picked up by Hawes. Gets it to Eaton. Eaton. Top of the key. Eaton. Drives. Kicks out to Hawes. Hawes now will drive. Kicks it out to Watson. Down low to Thomas. Thomas against Bonner. Kicks it to Jackson. Jackson has it knocked loose. Picks it back up. Out to Eaton. Trailer. Eaton will drive it. Kicks it back out to Jackson. Down low no. to Thomas. Ball's tipped by Bonner. Now Jackson's going to pick up the loose ball foul. Too many times trying to feed it without reversing it, not really giving the defense yeah. make a move. Yeah, not, not only that, but throw a bounce pass in the post. Like You should see what's working and what's not. I mean, that's... That's where you just got to help a teammate out and, and make a good bounce pass, and then she's got a chance. Yeah. Martin back into the contest for Northwood. Here is Bennett. Bennett. And stolen from behind by Watson. Watson just rips it from Bennett. Has it now for Jackson. Free throw line jumper. Good. 26-12. Eight for Jackson. In the backcourt. Martin with it. Picks up her dribble. She's got to get it. In yeah. The, Watson going to bail him out with a foul in the backcourt. 
they were probably about six or seven seconds in, right. in the backcourt. And then once again, don't let the dribbler split you. Yeah. Uh, you know, not only you create a disadvantage, but you also create a foul spot for Watson, her first. 3.20 to go here in the first half. 26-12, the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Jump with it, left side now to Martin. Martin top of the key, now to Bennett. Bennett swings it near side, down low to Red. Red against Thomas, throws up a shot, no good. Rebound to Bonner. Bonner gets her own rebound again, and now a foul coming. And I think that one's going to be against Sid Hawes, and that yeah. will send Northwood to the line for one and one for the remaining three minutes. That's Nope, so Thomas, oh. sorry. They did call on Lexi. Lex is the one that missed the block out, though. That's the one that you go back and look yeah. at that and like, hey, all this stuff's avoided if we just simply move uh, the, the player out of, and get the rebound like you should. Bonner misses the free throw, but rebound comes deep to Bennett. Bennett gives it off now to Chump. Chump top of the key. Down low to Red, oh. and it goes right through her. Hands out of bounds. Turnover, Northwood. Score zone back in for Jackson. Zebra's doing a much better job in their zone today of making that second help move, right? Like, yeah. you got the ball. Wednesday night, they were a little slow recovering on that second pass and helping a teammate out. Today, they're doing a much better job of covering those passing lanes once the ball goes inside. Watson with the basketball. Now to Hawes in the left wing. Hawes against Martin. Dribbles around the right side. Kicks it back out to Eaton. Eaton penetrates into the lane. Out to Thomas. 15-footer. Fakes it. Drives it in. Sends it to Hawes in the right wing. Down low to score zone. Score zone. Double team. Gives it to Thomas. Thomas then throws up a shot. No good. Rebound is fought for. Ball's loose on the ground. And two Zebras and a Northwood player jump on it. And it'll be a jump ball turn. Possession goes to Northwood, but I like it. I saw two Zebras hustle off that loose ball, both of them being post players. Right, and I know we said at the start that the Zebras are going small for a lineup, but you have to adjust <laughs> as the game goes on. And, and they are clearly the better inside team today. Yeah. Bennett with the basketball. Bennett cross-court pass goes to Chump. Chump gets it across the timeline. She gives it off now to Martin. Back over the near side to Bennett. Three on the way. No good. Sid Hawes with the rebound. Help Sid is out. double teamed, and she's going to be fouled. And it's just going to be team number five, so the Zebras will have to take out bounce and come the distance. 2.09 to go here in the first half. 26-12, Zebras lead. Good quarter. You know you had an eight-point lead going into this quarter. You got, you're up 14 now. Zebras continue to extend the lead. That's what you want to do. Two to go. They try to go down low to a score zone. Ball is tipped. Picked up by Bennett. Bennett with the basketball. Now to Bonner. Back out to Bennett. Bennett penetrates. Kicks it out to Martin. Three ball on the way. No good. Bonner with a rebound to Bennett. Her 10-footer. No good. And Sid Hawes clears the rebound this time. Goes out to Lexi Thomas. Watson will bring it across the timeline with a minute 40 to go. Watson will run the key. Top of the key. Now to Hawes. Hawes has it. Down low to Millie. Millie, turnaround jumper. Good. Millie caught it with the left hand and then made the right hand move. Nice move by Millie. Scores own. Up off the glass. Two more for her. 28 to 12. Chump with it. Chump tries nice to leave it for Red. Millie scores own with the tip. And now stolen by Watson. Watson will look to slow it down, and she'll walk it across the timeline. Here we go to the end of the quarter, the double stack high, kind of delay game. You want layups or the last shot, ideally. Thomas, now to Watson with 60 seconds to go. Watson to Hawes. Hawes top of the key. Hawes has it, goes right side. He thinks here. And uh, we're going to yeah. have an offensive foul. Moving the screen against yeah. the Zebras. The thing of thing about this is uh, you know it's, it's it's good delay offense but when you're screening high everybody can see what you're doing you're yeah. not going to get away with a moving screen on this double stack high delay uh, great effort uh, but you got to make sure you're legal because everybody yeah. can see those ball comes over the top and it's loose picked up by Bonner now down low to red red at the block to score zone and score zone is going to pick up a body foul and her second team ninth and, I, and I'm not going to make excuses for the foul of Lily Eaton, but Lily knew in this she probably wasn't exactly sure where she, right. where she's supposed to be and doing. I think she just right. kind of got caught in the wrong spot. Right. One of those, as you've been reshuffling yeah. the deck here this week, probably hasn't had a whole lot of experience right. with the delay game with this varsity crew. So quickly in is Riley Holloway for her to run the, the right, final 40 seconds. 
Foul is on score zone, her second. She'll come out, and Jackson will come in for her. I would think we'd see more of Red. She was not in the starting lineup, but I would think <laughs> at halftime, Coach Heater's yeah. probably going to lean a little bit more on her. Uh, Payne was, has been quiet. She got that second foul. That was big for the Zebras, but Red has picked up a little bit of the slack with four so far for Northwood in the second quarter. Mm, free throw rolls in and out. Jackson with the rebound. 35 seconds to go. Not a great free throw shooting today for either team. No. Watson will run that double stack again. She goes to the left side this time. Now to Hawes. Jump Hawes. stops, bounce yep. passes. That's the key thing here. Legal screens, of course, and then jump stops and bounce passes. 25 seconds. Back to Watson. Watson at the volleyball line. Two hands those, on those it. Those to the Thank right you. side, yeah. and there's team number six. Is that foul coming They'll against usually Northwood? usually let you get away sometimes two hands if it's a quick touch, but yeah. you keep two hands on the dribbler. Same thing, out there in front where everybody can see. <laughs> easy call for the official to make. Hawes will inbound to Watson. 18 seconds remaining. Four. 18 to Holloway, top the key at the volleyball line. 13 seconds. Holloway to the near side. Now to Haas. Haas going right and has it knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Zebras with 6.4 seconds to go. Not the worst thing in the world because now you can set an inbounds play and try to score off that. They were a little slow getting into their offense there. Thomas at the block, and it goes to Jackson. The ball's loose with five. Jackson has it, throws it down low to Thomas, and it goes out of bounds with 2.1 seconds to go. I don't think Jackson knew exactly how much time was left. Right. Maybe it was a pass. I don't know. I can't tell if that was a yeah, pass I could, or a shot. Yeah, it's a turnover either way. Yeah, true. And the half oh, court. She traveled. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Travels with .1 seconds to go. Zebras can't do anything with it. They'll Nothing you can do. Inbound. Coach Jennings yep. telling the Zebras to just catch it and hold it because, yep. you know, nobody can run to the rim and have a tip dunk on this uh, in white. <laughs> so catch and hold. Just get it in, and that's going to do it. On the Rochester Glass scoreboard at halftime, it's Zebras 28, Northwood Panthers 12. We'll be back with the Rice Lincoln of Warsaw halftime show. Rice Lincoln, 250 North across from Walmart in Warsaw. We'll also be joined by JV coach Phil Bowers and National Guard Kinsey Bradley, supposed to be joining us as well. So a lot coming up here at halftime. Zebras lead at 28 to 12. Giant FM and RTC TV. Four. Zebra basketball to start the second half. Yeah. And Hawes, yeah. Burkett, Holloway, Watson, and Thomas starting five for the Zebras on the floor. Hawes with it in the left wing. Hawes, very patient, looking down low to Thomas. Ball's tipped away, last touched by Northwood. It'll stay with the Zebras. Payne, Bennett, Edwards. Chump and Bonner, the original five starters for Northwood on the floor as well. I was interested to see if Red and Payne would be on the floor together. Yeah. Watson to Burkett. Three on the way. No good. Bonner with a rebound. Bonner gives it off to Bennett. Bennett will bring in the ball across the timeline. She'll come to the near side and give it off to Edwards. Edwards to Payne. Free throw line. Goes over the top. Tipped by Thomas. Lexi with a steal. Lexi gives it off to Watson. Zebras will look to push. Watson along the near side. Watson dribbles in, kicks it back out to Thomas on the left wing. Now to Haas, swings it left side, now to Holloway. They try to go down low by Thomas, and she saves it from right. going out of bounds. Got to right, be a bounce pass. Right into Northwood's hands. Here's Bennett. Bennett against Haas, and good. Blocking foul against the Zebras, and the hoop and the harm will come for Northwood. There's Bennett with two. She'll go to the line for the and one. Second on Hawes, first on the team in the half. You can already tell a more structure to the Northwood zone offense, more determined. Uh, and, you know, they drew a foul early on. Free throw hard off the back of the iron. Rebound comes away to Bonner. Payne, elbow jumper, no good. Callie Watson comes away with it. Watson with the rebound. She'll keep it, bring it across the timeline. Now to Hawes. Hawes with it. Left wing. Hawes goes to the hole, kicks it back out. Nobody's there. Yeah. Probably should have just kept on going. Rushed, right? Yeah. You're just, just rushed on that. Those first two possessions look very rushed by the Lady Zebras and have resulted in uh, no points. 28-14 with a minute 10 gone by here in the first or start of the first part of the third quarter. Zebras knock it out of bounds. It'll stay with... Stay with Northwood. Yeah. Stay with Northwood. Zebras in that zone that they, they've been running here this week. 
doing a good job, but it looks like Northwood's trying to get that high-low game going against that 2-3 zone. Edwards with it now into the corner. Here's Bennett. Tood, 15-foot jumper for Bennett, and it's 28-16. Bennett's got four quick points, and we said the Coach Heater team's going to have an answer. Left side to Burkett. Now to Watson. Watson top of the key. Watson directing traffic. Now she'll go back towards Thomas, and the pass is between Thomas's legs, picked up by Payne, quickly ahead to Bennett. Bennett running layup, up and no good, and a foul coming, a blocking foul on the Zebras. That's it. That's her third. Trying to take a charge. I, I've seen I've seen that call go either way. It, it, she was ahead of the play. She wasn't reacting to take a charge. You could tell Sid was thinking about taking a charge, just got there a little late, and it's going to be her third. And Bennett's going to go back to the line. She's got all four Northwood points so far this quarter. Two free throws on the way. The first one's good. And that's Score zone will come in. First free throw made by Northwood. They were 0 for 4 before that one. Sid Hawes will get a break. So it's score zone. Thomas, Holloway, Burkett, and Watson. Zebras have two post players on the floor now. Let's see if they go back to working that double post game, get the ball inside on either side of the floor rather than trying to force it into one. Lane violation against the Zebras, and Bennett will get another opportunity. Yeah, Pink's pretty quick. Millie was knew she had to get there in a hurry to block out Pink because she's athletic. She just left a little too early. She'll have another opportunity. Will Bennett. Free throw. Good. Timeout. Northwood. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here with 6.09 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. It's down to a 10-point zebra right. lead. Right. 6-0 run all by, by Bennett here this first couple minutes. And we talked about, you said, uh, knowing Coach Eater, yeah. he was going to make a, the adjustments. Right now, Coach Jennings really in this timeout needs to make sure he makes the offensive adjustments that they talked about, make sure that they understand it because yeah. uh, it, it's a little different. You've had it almost a minute, two minutes here to, to look what Northwood's doing, especially defensively. That seems to be where where the problem is. We're, we're not reacting to right. their changes. We're, we're back on our heels a little bit. Yeah. Uh, on offense, whether it's not throwing the bounce pass in the post when you should, which causes a, a bad turnover, or – you know, not having a good angle to make a post feed. You're trying to get the ball inside. Like that, right? Like that part, trying to get the ball inside. You just got to understand the situation and, and what pass to use or the good spacing. And, um, you know, now you've let a 16-point lead become a 10-point lead. And now let's see if you have an answer coming out of the timeout. Burkett around. Yep, Millie scores zone, threw the hip out. Yep. Sure did. Yep, sure did right in front of the official. And scores zone, going to pick up another foul. That's going to be Millie's third. So you have Hawes with three, Millie with three. Another one. You appreciate the aggressiveness, but you've got to be smart when you got two fouls in yeah. front of the referee, that ball screen. Everybody's going to see that in the gym. And Watson again on the aggressiveness trying right. to steal it. Another foul, and it can be another one on Rochester. If they're not careful, they're right. going to put them in the let's, bonus early. Let's throttle down. Like it's, it's, we're playing, and we're like, we're the one down 10 or 16. Right. Uh, you know, Jackson and score zones out. Jackson had eight points in the first half, so let's see if she can build on that. And maybe get the offense going a little bit with Thomas and Jackson in the post. Chump inbounds to Edwards. Three ball, good. Edwards hits the three from the right wing, and it's 28-21, yeah. down to a seven-point zebra lead. Burkett with the basketball to Watson. Watson then has it knocked loose. Ball's loose on the ground, picked up by Northwood. Nice Quickly pass. Quickly ahead to Bennett. She travels. Oh, man. Yep. That's kind of how you teach it other than the travel at the end. Yeah. Uh, first of the four wins, we talk about that a lot. Uh, when there's a loose ball, notice how many times the ball is picked up by the first team that gets to the floor. That was Northwood. Passed ahead, passed ahead again, just uh, shuffled her feet on the layup. Burkett with it. Burkett splits the defenders, kicks it out to Holloway. Three on the way, way off the mark. Thomas with the rebound, up and good. Lexi Thomas has two more, and it's 30-21 yeah. now. Get a shot up off the rim, you get a chance to rebound it. Ball's... Stolen by the Zebras and a foul coming in against Northwood. Bennett, her first, team's first. Double team that time by Holloway and Watson. And they got the steal, and then Bennett with the aggression foul. Red back in and sitting down will be Bonner. Check out here because you've got a yeah. hot Bennett with uh, six points and red in pain. Those three in the game together for Northwood. The Zebras are going to have to pay attention here on defense especially. Burkett gives it off to Holloway. Holloway drives it in, has it blocked by Payne. Payne picks up the rebound. 
Payne now off to Bennett. Coach Heater says, let's go. Let's move the ball. Right side now to Chump. Chump three ball on the way. No good. Rebound comes away to Edwards. Edwards kicks it back out front to Chump. Chump dribbles in. Stolen by Burkett. Burkett with the steal. Burkett on the left side. She'll hold up and wait for her teammates and gives good it decision. off to Holloway. Down low to Thomas. Lexi Thomas left hand layup up and good. It won't get credited with anything. We call it the hockey assist, the pass that leads to the pass, but that was led by Cami Burkett making a smart decision and getting it back out and letting everybody else come down the floor. Timeouts by Northwood as they were getting close to this 10-second call in the backcourt. Zebra's putting some nice pressure on. and 30 second. Coach Hunter or Coach Heater are going to keep it here and take a 30. That's their third timeout use, so they only have two fulls left. The Zebras have their full complement of timeouts. Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester going beyond the expected for you. Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future, please recycle. Connecting you with excellent health care providers, that's Pulaski Memorial Hospital. Rochester Glass, locally owned and operated since 1956. And by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. The law firm built for your current and future legal needs. 4.32 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 32-21, Zebra's lead. And uh, uh, you said it earlier, and I think it's the same way, Coach, as uh, Zebras need to feed Lexi Thomas. She's got the hot hand. Right. And, and like we said, that, that just a great decision by Cami Burkett. Like, could have just plowed in there and threw something up, and that hasn't worked really. But to back it back out, make a pass back, and then set up the post feed, which, by the way, was another bounce pass to Lexi Thomas, led to an easy score. Chump to Payne, down low to Red, stolen by Jackson. Jackson with the basketball. She's double teamed. Now gets now it off to Burkett. Burkett with the basketball now across the timeline. Burkett dribbles in, dribbles back out, and she's going to yeah. get a foul on Bennett. Now that good move was the hesitation by Burkett yeah. to think that she was going to back it out, and then she got the defender on the move and then attacked again and set up the reaching foul. Her second, team second, foul on Bennett. Which will be good because she's yeah. she's been the big scorer here in this third quarter for Northwood. Get her in foul trouble. Zebra inbound it deep into Burkett. Burkett has it with 4.10 to go here in the third. To Watson, bad pass coming from Burkett. Yeah. And it's going to cause a jump ball. It'll be Northwood basketball turnover Zebras. I think right. she wanted to kind of throw a chess yeah. pass, but last minute she thought maybe I need a bounce pass, and mm -hmm. it kind of ended up a uh, not-so-good pass. Here's the suggestion. Always think bounce pass. <laughs> take, take that out of the equation. Edwards picks up her dribble. She's got to do something with it. Gives it off to Payne. Payne goes down low to Red against Thomas. Throws it up. No good. Burkett with a rebound. Good defense that time by yep. Lexi Thomas. Yes. Burkett will bring it across the timeline. Trying to go down low to Thomas. They go to Jackson at the free throw line. Kick it out to Watson. Watson fakes the three, kicks it up, and then throws up a running jumper. No good. Yeah. And it's out of control. Good hustle by Cammy. Yep. Yeah, that's all right. That's a that's a that's a hustle turnover. Those right. you can live with. As she uh, stole the pass, but the energy right. and, and momentum took her in the backcourt and got it over and back. Right. The suggestion you could make is okay. You tipped it from behind. Just grab it. <laughs> but she was trying to make a play. Quickly ahead now to Edwards after the inbounds pass. They go down to Red. Red on the right wing. Red against Thomas. Has it deflected. Ball still loose and a foul coming on Red as she's diving and takes out Lexi Thomas. Only Red's first. We got a uh, good battle here. We got Thomas and Jackson for Rochester and we got Payne and Red. It's a, it's a two post game on each side and, and really good post players. This is this is some high level physicality here on both teams. Eaton in for the Zebras. Coming out will be Burkett for a quick breather. Watson will run the point. Watson around the Thomas screen. Is down low to Jackson. Jackson, little baby hook. Up and good. Jackson's in doubles with 10. 34-21. Zebra's up with three minutes to go here in the third quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Red quickly down the other end. Loses it. Picked up by Payne. Payne shot up off the glass. Good. Nobody helped out Lexi Thomas. She left to help Jackson. Somebody's got to help to help her. Watson with it. Watson around the screen. Watson goes for a layup up. Rolls in and out. No good. Rebound Payne. Payne for Northwood. Gives it out now to Bennett. Bennett will bring it across the timeline. Bennett to Edwards. Edwards left wing to Martin. Martin has her pass tipped out of bounds yep. by Thomas. Nice job by Lexi. Yeah, and you're not seeing any pass fakes or anything by Northwood. So the Lady Zebras are... 
understanding what's going on. They're going to pass where they're looking, and let's jump some passing lanes and try to get some deflections and steals. 34-23, two and a half to go. D pass into the corner. Can't handle it. Taken by Eaton. Eaton with the basketball. Eaton, right wing. Dribbles in, leaves it for Thomas. Lexi dribbles down, out to Eaton. She'll fire a 10-footer or 12-footer on the way. No good. Rebound is loose, and Northwood's out of bounds. It'll stay with the Zebras. Coming in will be Chump, and going out will be Bennett. Also coming back in will be Bonner. Bonner will check in, and Payne will sit down. 2.15 to go here in the third, 34-23. Zebras on top. Let's see if the Zebras can continue to pound the ball inside and try to get post feeds or drives. Watts it, gets it in to Eaton. Now top the key to Holloway. Holloway with the basketball. Holloway leaves it for Watson. Oh, nice Over lob. the top to Thomas. Up off the glass. Boom. Good. Yes. Definitely a size mismatch yes. there and great pass. Good patience. Good patience and a perfect delivery. Made it easy layup for Thomas. Zebra's putting some pressure on three quarters court, and it's going to be tipped away. Stolen by Watson. Watson with the basketball. Quickly ahead to Holloway. Great pass Holloway ahead. Holloway to Watson. Swing it. Now they'll reset. Bring it the other side to Eaton. Eaton dribbles down. Eaton dribble back out. She picks up her dribble. Thomas tries to get open. It's going to be touched by Northwood. It'll stay with the Zebras. Eaton that time down just a little too deep for she where she wanted. the trees <laughs> without a dribble. That's, that's not a great place to be. Zebras fortune is to get the ball back. 90 seconds remain here in the third quarter. 36-23 on the Rochester glass scoreboard. Zebras up. Holloway has the inbound pass. To go up top to Eaton. Eaton around her defender. And then she picks up her dribble now to Thomas. Thomas, top of the key to Holloway. Back to Watson with a minute 20. Screen by Jackson. Now to Eaton. Eaton will dribble back up top to key. Give it off to Holloway. Good patience. Good patience. Yeah. Del delay a little not bit. Not your here. really delay game, but you're just not forcing anything, right? You're trying to drive. If it's there, great. If it's not, as you turn it over. What they're trying to do is just kind of little dribble ball screen weave. If you can get to the paint, great. If not, kick it out, let somebody else try. Just kind of Watson just kind of shuffled her feet as she got the catch there. That's Watson. where you want to catch, square up, and then go. Riley Kitson checks in for the first time for Northwood, a junior on the ball club. Edwards with the basketball. Edwards back up top to Chump. Chump goes right side now to Martin. Martin has it in the corner, excuse me, in the wing. Now it goes down to the corner, tipped out of bounds by Holloway. It'll stay with Northwood. Zebras have answered that run. You know, they got it cut to seven. Now the Zebras have expanded it back out to 13. So great answer by the Zebras in this last part of the third quarter. Edwards has it on the right wing. Looking to get away, and she does. Gives it off to Chump. Down low to Kitson. Kitson to Bonner. Yep. And Bonner's shot's partially blocked, but a foul coming on Lexi Thomas. And Bonner will go to the line to shoot two. Zebras did a pretty good job in their zone, but that's a time where they got caught watching the ball. Northwood's been trying to get that high-low going this whole third quarter, and they got caught watching the pass into the high post and forgot about the low block. 43.8 seconds to go, and Bonner's at the line for two. Free throw, no good. She'll have one more. Coming back in will be Bennett for Northwood, and Lexi Thomas will get a breather for 43 seconds. Bonner hasn't scored. She's 0 for 2 from the line. Zebras have five team fouls, so they got to try not to foul too much in the fourth quarter. You don't want to let Northwood score with the clock stopped, although they've been struggling from the line all day. Bonner misses. Ball's loose on the ground, and it's going to be tied up. It'll be Zebra basketball. 40.9 seconds to go here in the third. Coming back in will be Chump. Edwards will sit down. Okay. Let's have a good finish the quarter here. Should get a layup with the last shot. Ideally, Watson will bring it across. Watson has it top the key. Now she brings it off to Eaton. Eaton trying to look down to the score zone. Can't get it to nope. her. It's not there. Has it's the ball there. knocked loose. She's trying Getting to get it to Watson. Corner. She does. Watson dribbles the baseline and Good. will reset Good the offense. Back to Holloway. 19 seconds. Holloway with the basketball. Left side. Now to Watson. 12 seconds. Watson, top of the key, and a foul oh. Oh, screen, illegal screen. It's what our third one of the day feels like, third uh, illegal screen up top. Score zone had one, uh, Eaton had one, and now Jackson's got yeah. one. Her second foul, but 
He'd love the willingness. Just got to be a little bit smarter on it. Zebras will put full court pressure onto the backcourt with nine seconds. Quickly ahead. Nice stolen steal. by Holloway. Holloway has it with five. Holloway cross-court pass uh. stolen by Bennett. Bennett has it with one, and that's going to do it for the third quarter. At the end of three complete, 36-23. Zebras lead it on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with the fourth quarter after this. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, Giant FM Sports, and RTC TV4.
Bennett steps out of bounds as they try to go deep in the corner to her, and Red back in, and sitting down will be Bonner. 6.08 to go here in the fourth. Burkett will bring it across the timeline. Top of the key is Holloway. Down low to Jackson. Jackson throws up a shot. No good. Payne has it, but tipped around. Ball's loose, and Burkett going to get the loose ball foul as she knocked into Edwards, and Edwards went flying. <laughs> yeah, simple kind of concept here for the Lady Zebras. Just running some high ball screens, but with that second post player, you know, one post player is setting the ball screen, and that second post player is trying to get either inside position or if their player leaves to help on the roll, then they're going to be open. But uh, Zebra's keeping it simple, and it's working right now. 5.50 to go, but now Northwood has an opportunity to cut it into the lead with the clock stopped as they will be shooting the bonus the rest of the way. Free throw good by Edwards. Usually you don't want to... You don't want to make a habit of keeping the team at the free throw line, but Northwood was two for six. Now they're three for seven from the free throw line so far. And that one's missed. Payne goes for the rebound and tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Zebras. But you don't want to rely on that just because the team struggled so far. You don't want to say, hey, they're, they're not going to make any free throws, so let's start following them. You certainly don't want to do that, but also maybe a little bit of patience like the Zebras have been doing. You don't need one or two passes. Let's work to get a good shot, not an outright delay. Well, let's make sure we get the best shot we can. Burkett has it in the left wing, throws it out to Holloway. She has to go get it, but does so safely. She goes around the left wing, down low to Jackson. Jackson at the block. Jackson, baby hook, no good. Rebound, good. Up and good. Good follow on Kennedy Jackson. Left that one a little short, but went and got it and threw it back up. And two more for Kennedy. 40-26 with 5.15 to go. Red has it on the other end. Ball's tipped. Red picks it up, gives it out to Payne, swings it near the side now to Bennett. Bennett stolen by Burkett. Burkett with the basketball down in the corner, now dribbles it back out, gives it to Sid Hawes, and she'll give it to Kennedy Jackson, top of the key against Red. Jackson now gives it to Burkett. Burkett dribbles in, kicks it to Holloway. Zebra's nice delay, little delay here with four and a half to go, 450 to go, excuse me. Over to the top, Jackson can't handle it. Saves it from going out of bounds to Burkett. Her three ball, good. 43-26. Hat tip to Kennedy Jackson, saving that inbounds and having the wherewithal to find Burkett, whether she communicated or not, but delivered a great pass to Burkett, who knocked it down in rhythm. Red has the basketball. She goes against Hawes, and Hawes steals it. And a foul coming on Red, and that's going to be Northwood's number five. Yeah, she's kind of done the same move in the Zebras and... And Hawes are pretty smart and said, hey, I know where you're going. I'm going to reach in there and try to steal it from you. And, they, and she did. And then Red fouled her on her way down. 4.24 to go here in the contest. 43-26 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Northwood? Northwood. Thanks, Val. Northwood's turned it over 31 times. Woo! Woo! Burkett around the defender. Kicks out to Sid Hawes. Her three ball on the way. No good. Long rebound fought for. Red comes away with it. Red has it at the volleyball line. Red. Now down in the corner, crossover, and carries it. 32. 32 so, turnovers. Uh, Martin into the contest, and sitting down will be Chump. Bonner will get ready to come back in. But as we said earlier, if you missed it, you know Northwood has two guards out with injuries yes. as well. So Coach Heater has a pretty young team and trying to figure some things out on the fly. But these are the kinds of games that keep you up late at night as a coach, <laughs> trying to figure things out and turning the ball over a bunch. Burkett with the basketball. Out to Hawes. Hawes on the right wing. Dribbles to the middle. Kicks it back to Burkett in the right corner. Down low to Thomas. Thomas nice at the paint. Fake. Up and oh, under. Wow. Good. Woo. Beautiful move by Lexi Thomas. And she's got 21. Down low. Thrown out of bounds. Ask Val how many rebounds she's got. You know how many rebounds Lexi Thomas has. Rebounds Watson. for Thomas. Watson will come in. Burkett will sit down. Seven. So she needs three more. I, okay. I challenge her with a double-double. Well, I'll tell you what, that was great. You don't see that move much anymore. <laughs> no, Boys or girls yield up and Ooh. under. And to get that footwork correctly, uh, that was a <laughs> thing of beauty. Watson with the basketball. Watson, down low to Thomas. Thomas kicks it back out to Holloway. Holloway travels. Oh, no, three-second call. Not sure if it was Jackson or Thomas, but one of them forgot to get out of the lane. Yeah, they were both camping out there. Could have been on either one. 
Jackson comes out and score zone comes in. Also, Lily Eaton in and Riley Holloway will get a breather. 3.20 to go here in the contest. 45-26 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebras lead it. Zebras outscoring Northwood 9-3 so far in the fourth quarter. Ball's tipped loose on the floor, and Lexi Thomas on the floor for it, and Once she's going to be fouled. Once again, good things happen when you're the first on the floor. Lexi Thomas was down there and drew the foul. Got to give a shout-out to the ca- or, yeah, ca- Watson. Watson able to tip it and cause the turnover. Payne's fourth. And Coach Heater wants a timeout. We'll take one as well. 45-26, 309 left in the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebras lead. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. A 60 second timeout. Coach, we talked about the, the run by Coach Heater's team mm-hmm. early. The Zebras yes. responded well with that midway through the third and now really have just taken yes. it one step further and really started expanding this lead. Yeah, about three minutes into the third quarter was down to seven, and now it's back up to 19, and that's that's what you want to see, right? That's taking advantage, maybe a little bit of a fatigue team playing on the road last night, and and uh, but you want to see your team respond, and, and let's keep it going and finish the game with an exclamation point, not a question mark. Zebras need to get it across the timeline. They just do before the 10-second call. And now Watson with the basketball. Watson against Winger. Down low to the score zone. Score zone left hand layup up and good. Kelly Watson dribbling with the purpose, making a bounce pass, and going left, making that pass with her left hand. Edwards with the basketball. Down to Bonner. Bonner tries to kick it back out. Stolen by Lexi Thomas. Two and a half to go in the contest. Watson now has it. Watson around the screen. Picks up her dribble. Now gives it off to Eaton. Eaton down low to score zone. Stolen by Bonner. Bonner with the basketball. She gives it off now to Edwards. Edwards will bring it across the timeline. Martin with it. Left wing. Martin picks up her dribble. Now got to get it, get it away, and she does. Off to Winger. Winger has it back to Martin. To Payne at the free throw line. Payne kicks it out to Winger on the right wing. Double team by the Zebras. Stolen by score zone. Nice double team by Thomas and Eaton. Forced Northwood to make the bad pass. And 47-26. Zebras still lead it. Hawes with the basketball. Hawes will come around the screen. Hawes down low to score zone. Ball's loose. Picked up by Payne. Ball's loose again. (laughs) Watson picks it up. Watson to Thomas. Thomas. Good decision. Yeah, dribbles right. back out. Yep. She could have easily scored that time, but dribbles it back out, keeps the clock rolling, and the Zebras still have it. And a foul coming on Northwood. Now the Zebras will shoot one and one. Foul's on Edwards. It's only her second, but as you said, seventh on Northwood. So Zebras will be at the free throw line. Watson out, Burkett in. So far, the Zebras are five for ten from the line. So if we get a few opportunities, you like to cash in on that build towards next week. Lily Eaton will get her first opportunity at the free throw line, I believe, for the night and for her varsity because she didn't shoot the other night, did she? Right. No. Right. So first opportunity for Lily Eaton here at the free throw line. Free throw for Eaton is off the front of the iron. No good. Rebound comes away to Bennett. Bennett will bring it across the timeline for Northwood. Bennett now to Martin. Martin. Back to Bennett. Tip by Burkett. Burkett with the steal. Burkett will wait on her teammates and give it off to Lexi Thomas. Top the key. Now to Sid Hawes. Hawes dribbles in. Kicks out to Eaton with 60 seconds remaining. Now to Burkett. Zebras will move to 2-2 two and two as they get ready to head for TRC action coming up next Thursday night as they travel to Peru to take on the Lady Tigers. Let's see, this will be Rochester's first win over Northwood since November of 2015. Whew. First year we got Northwood on the schedule. It was the 15-16 season. We were able to knock them off, and it's been Lady Panthers ever since then. Foul coming there against Bennett. Eaton will get another opportunity at the free throw line. Eaton gets go. first free throw to roll. 
And it's 48-26. I think so, yeah. First career varsity points. Always yeah. a nice accomplishment. Get that monkey off your back. <laughs> Eaton's for second free throw. No good. Bennett gets the rebound. Bennett will push. 38 seconds to go. Quickly ahead to Winger. Winger with it to Thomas. Excuse me. Stolen by Burkett. Burkett. And Coach Jennings wants a timeout as we're going to try to get some substitutions yep. in. Going to get Savannah Eccles. Eccles in, in. and Thomas. Well deserved. Breather. Well deserved recognition for Lexi Thomas. What do you say? Seven rebounds, 21 points. That'll work. That'll work. That's what you want your leader to do, like we said. Your, if your team's struggling, you're in a funk a little bit. She was kind of in a funk individually. Uh, when your leader sets the tone early on and starts attacking the basket and getting, feeding the post, then good things happen. And Needed for her individually and needed for the Zebras as a team. Haas with the basketball now in the front of the Zebra bench. Ooh, jump stop, yep. please. Yep. All yep. Right. Tried to jump stop, but uh, just moved both feet at the same time and turn over Zebras. 15.8 seconds to go. 48-26, Zebras lead it on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Don't forget, coming up post-game and player of the game. I think it's pretty easy. I think it's pretty obvious today. <laughs> <laughs> Blocked by score zone. Ooh, nice job, Millie. Red took it behind her head, and Millie says thank you very whoa, much. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and that'll do it. The final tonight, or this afternoon, the Zebras win it 48-26 here at Rochester High School. When we come back, it'll be the post game being brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. More after this. Zebras win it on the Rochester Glass scoreboard 48 26 on Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4. <laughs> 